in this lecture we will continue with meshing of a spherical shape so in the previous lecture we have done the meshing in this type but right now we are going to do the meshing in some another way so i will delete all the elements here go to f2 delete here all and delete return so in the previous lecture we were also we had also split this geometry so i will go to mask here i will select solid mask this mask this return now you can see this part is also symmetric with respect to zy plane so i can also split it i will go to geometry go to solid edit i will split it with respect to x axis that is zy plane so select this node and select this solid trim now click on mask select this bottom part click on mask so now we only have this small section once we do the meshing of this we can reflect it okay so i will save this view press v from the keyboard v for view and click on save one so now let's see how can we do the mesh for this one way so there can be several ways of doing the mesh you can apply your own logic so one logic what i found is we can create a cube here a small cube here and along with that we can create the mesh so to understand this here we have a node so what i do i will create several nodes press f8 from the keyboard here go to line in this parametric let's say i will select this line create several node here here also okay after that i will go to return so you can see right now this node is exactly midpoint of this line but i will want this to be slightly rightward so go to distance to node select the first node second node you can see the z distance is 50 so let's say i want it 40 similarly here from this node to this node this let's say i will take it 40 again this is 40 now i want to make a square here to make a square to make the square i want the square to be 40 by 14 dimension so press shift plus f4 translate select this node here select let's say i will select n1 n2 here click on this arrow by magnitude click on this node and duplicate this the direction i want from this node to this node this value is 40 we know click on translate with this option this node will be exactly at 40 distance so what can we do is we can go to quick edit from node to node like this here like this similar thing we can do here so again shift plus f4 here this node duplicate this we can give this direction to here translate f11 this node to this node and this node okay from this node to this node trim the extra part similar thing here so shift plus f4 this node duplicate here this okay now quick edit from this node to this node and this node okay once again trim it here and go to untrim so once we have created this type of small rectangular boxes after that what we do i will go to f8 once again i want to find the midpoint of this line so here's like this line select three node create similarly here three node create similarly here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split it here go to quick edit from this node from this node to this node this node to this node and this node to this node so in this way we have split it this okay after that what i am going to try is i also want to split it from this surface so here let's say i will take some point here so i will go to quick edit once again here let's say i will select a point here up to let's say it should be somewhere close to here we can take any point somewhere close to so let's say i will point take the point here this point 
approximate point we can change it later if we want i don't want this extra so here go to untrim here you will see what my plan is i will create a mesh on this surface click on wireframe and then i will create this mesh up to this face okay once again uh, press f8 i also want node here click on node okay now from this point okay now we need to complete this cube first to complete this what i'm going to do is here uh, we need to create a line okay so press shift plus f4 select this node and duplicate it give it the direction from this to this this value should be 40 and translate it so with this you will see we have a node inside now go to line okay so here shell right click okay make sure this shell is current so all the thing we'll do will will go will go inside this collector so here select from linear node select the first node and second node create select the first node second node create select this node and this node create return so with this option what we have done is we have created a cube inside also i want to create one more line here go to line once again from this node to this node create okay after that now let's start the meshing first of all we need to select the number of element so here i will go to auto mesh so here I will select this face and click on mesh. You can see it is going to select four element. But here, let's say I will click on return. I will do the mesh here. And once again, you will see eight elements here. And you can see mesh flow is not good. So click on reject, return. Once again, click on undo. So all the mesh will undo. So here, what we will do is I will select all the faces and click on mesh. You can see eight number of element here. So I want eight here. Click on eight. Once again, eight here. Similarly, here are eight. So this mesh will go from here to here. So this is eight. Okay, so here eight. Similarly, you can see six, six. So here make it six. So you can see the mesh flow has improved. So now we are going to do this thing on all the faces. So continue doing the mesh here. Here this should be 8. Again this should be 8. Here this is 8. This is 6. Return. At the bottom you will see here. Just select 8. Select 8. Make it 6. Return. Now we can drag the mesh. Click on wireframe view. You can see first of all we need to make mesh for this cube. So I will go to return, go to 3D solid map. Here we need to select only one of the face. Let's say I will select only these element on one face. In the destination, in the element to match, no. Destination we don't have any surface. We need to give it line. So let's say I will give this opposite lines here along click on mixed. So this face here go to element and select all these element here onto this face and similarly here uh, make it like this. Okay this face zoom in and select one by one. In the guiding lines let's say I will give this line this line okay now click on mesh it doesn't matter what this value is because we always have the guiding element so the value here doesn't matter click on return so here you can see we have created a solid mesh so we need to extract the faces from here go to tools faces select this component and faces we don't want the 3d so hide this i will drag this mesh or this face from here onto this opposite face okay to to do this i will go to 3d 
here go to solid map here select this face okay so select this face select these element like this in the destination i will give this opposite lines uh, like this and here in the guiding element i will select this face and this face click on by face we don't want these elements so oh, hold on the shift click and right click deselect them like this so everything is selected we need to give guiding face the top face i will give this as guiding face so that it will take the trajectory of the surface i can also give the line so let's say i will also give these two lines as guiding lines let's try the mesh click on mesh so you can see the mesh has been created so click on return go to tools faces delete turn on this mesh here now once again extract the faces find click on return and after that we need to continue the meshing from let's say from this face okay so i will select 3d solid map i will select this face and in the destination we need to give this line this line this line and this line here in the guiding elements like this this and this click on by face but we don't want these element here so deselect them after that in the guiding give it surface because it is a curvature also in the line we can give this line and this line mesh click on return tools face delete go to component and find the faces once again so now hide this part now it is very simple so here go to 3d solid map element here select this face and we can take any opposite face here we don't need to give any destination none here i will give element to match because in opposite surface we have some element element by face in the mixed i will select all these three element here by face i will give top surface as my guiding and click on mesh and you can see the mesh has been generated we don't need this 2d so delete this once again click on this solid map and once again hide this shell element also here we don't need it right now right click and delete this so you can see if we go to this element quality press f10 you can see this time the skewness is 35 which is very less also here we don't have any penta element so here quad you can see the element is very good minimum length is 2.28 which is very good maximum is 10 so you can see element quality is very good now we need to reflect this so go to tools here go to reflect so we need to do, we need to reflect it in all three direction with respect to x y z so element so here click on let's say first x axis so element displayed here go to duplicate and let's say i will select the original in when we select the original it will go in the component where the mesh is so original for the base point we need to give the base point as this corner point because this mesh will go downward reflect return then shift plus f3 here we can select element displayed 0.1 let's say and click on preview now preview equivalence return once again we need to reflect it this time with respect to let's say y axis so displayed element duplicate in original y axis so base point will be this point and click on reflect once again we need to equalize them preview and equivalence in the last we need to reflect them with respect to z axis so element here displayed we need to duplicate them original select this node and reflect finally we need to equalize them so element displayed 
equivalence return. So in this way you can see we have created the meshing of this ball. Click on unmask all or we can right click show all. Now we can merge all the solid we have edited. Go to merge, select all the solid at once or we can select multiple solid and click on merge. So now all the solid we have split it will be merged. So in this way we can do the meshing of spherical object.